Good morning. This is David Gemeinhardt for the RASKB, the Royal Asiatic Society Korea branch. It's a mild, sunny January morning. In fact, it's New Year's Day, and we're off to Soraksan to spend the Lunar New Year holiday there. Uh, the traffic is actually very light because most people are at home doing New Year's things. Uh, and in fact, we're 30 minutes ahead of schedule, and we hope to arrive at the mountain uh, shortly after lunch. Uh, so stay tuned for sounds, uh, images, and uh, some commentary on uh, the weekend. It is going to be an overnight tour. We're spending one night at uh, the San Guabada Hotel, which is near Soraksan. Uh, Soraksan itself literally means Snow Peak Mountain. So New Year's Day, uh, this year in January, is a great day to actually see the mountain in its full winter splendor. So this is the restaurant where we had lunch. It specializes in dubu, Korean tofu dishes. 8,000 per person. But more importantly, in the background, we can start to see some of the Sorak Mountain Range, which is indeed snow-capped in late January. So we're now at the mountain, and that's our group ahead, heading towards the cable car. Uh, we are going to go on the cable car later, but first we're, we're going to go on about a two-hour hike. So we're now at the foot of one of the parts of Soraksan that is open to tourists. We're crossing the bridge towards the hiking trails, but already we have some nice views of the peaks and also the stream bed. We're lucky in the weather. It's a very clear sunny, and for late January, quite mild day. I think it's a little over zero degrees, but maybe breezy on the peaks. Here's a trail map for Soraksan. Quite extensive trails. We, however, are not going that far. We're here right now and we're making for Bisonde, the so-called Flying Fairy Rock, uh, which is only about three kilometers according to this. And after that we're taking the cable car to visit one of the peaks. So this is the view from the peak that the cable car goes to, including a view of Sukcho City and the sea. Presumably, I guess Russia is off on the other side of that water. And somewhere over that way would be North Korea. And here's the cable car apparatus.
So on day two of this tour, you can choose A or B. A is more hiking on Soraksan, and B is going to Water Pia, which is a large spa complex and pool complex near Soraksan. So these three ladies and I uh, opted for option B, and we just had a, a day at you know in the hot water and the tubs and everything else. So were you glad that you chose option B? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. What was your favorite part of Water Pia? The facial. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed the ladies spa area with the different baths and saunas, it was very relaxing and refreshing. Right, and you managed to find some beer too, didn't you? I did, they actually had German beer on tap. Ah. Which is quite unusual. Very Korean unusual. Unusual. <laughs> But they had a number of different food and drink services mm -hmm. within the complex that were very nice. Very comfortable. Mm, great. So would you recommend this tour for people thinking about it maybe next New Year's Day? Absolutely. I, I think this was a really neat way to see New Year's Day for the Korean culture. Yeah. Well. A different part of Korea, too. Yes. Mm, yes. Yeah. Well, thanks very much. Yes.